Well, thanks, Rob and Rachel. Yes, a new president and a new era for FIFA. The promotion of women in football is now written into FIFA statutes. We'll be speaking to coach Annie Zaidi, who's speaker at the FIFA Women's Football Conference in Zurich. We've also travelled to Mallorca to spend time with Olympic gold medalist Danny King. Plus, we're live from Hamden as the Scottish domestic season gets underway. All that's next. Welcome to Sportswomen. New FIFA president Gianni Infantino says he will grow and develop football all over the world. Part of his new role, though, is to ensure that all 209 member countries have women in decision-making roles within their organisations. Well, the promotion of women in football is now written into FIFA statute. It's the first time the role of women off the field has been formally recognised. At least six members of the new FIFA Council will be female. That means that women will make up 16% of FIFA's decision-making body. For the first time, each continental confederation is to appoint at least one female member to their executive body. Each individual country is also being told to follow suit, but that is not yet in FIFA's rules. Love. Now, our next guest has very strong opinions on the involvement of women in football. And you may remember her from November's Sportswomen of the Year Awards. She is football coach Annie Zaidi. And uh, she was the winner of the Helen Rollison Award for Inspiration. And even David Beckham was impressed by her. <coughs> OK, well, welcome to the programme, Annie. Great to have you Thank here. You. Um, now, well, the reason we're speaking to you is because you're preparing to speak at the FIFA Women's Football and Leadership Conference in Zurich next week. So how did that happen? Um, it was right after yeah. next Sunday. Fantastic. And you mentioned Abby Wombach is, is going, mm. but also Billie Jean King as oh, no. well. What's actually going to be on the agenda? What will we be speaking about? Um, there's twofold to as well, obviously. That's, yeah. your, that's your specific yeah. thing that you're going to be speaking about. Why is that so important? I think, what do you think then of the new FIFA reforms then? The fact that um, one in, uh, sorry, there'll be six women on the FIFA council now. Do you think that's important? I think, but we... You feel strongly yeah. about you don't want to see tokenism because you're currently working with Leicester girls mm -hmm. and also with QPR yeah. boys as well. Do you think that there is enough improvement to see equal opportunities for women in coaching? David... And just quickly, what is it that you're doing? How are you getting on so far in your coaching? Um, I'm just quickly, doing no, thank you. to speak to us. Thank you, Annie. Okay. Right, cycling and Danny King won Olympic gold on the track as part of the women's team. You're watching Sportswomen. It's less than four months until the inaugural Women's Cricket Super League begins. Team names and venues for the six franchises who will compete in the competition have been confirmed. Yorkshire, two franchises have named their coaches. The Vipers have appointed former England international Caroline Foster as their new head coach, while Sally Ann Briggs takes on the role for Loughborough Lightning. We went along to the National Performance Centre to see what coaching opportunities are available for women. So, Sarah Taylor is one of six contenders for the Sky Sports Sportswoman of the Month vote for February. She starred with the bat, passing 2,000 T20 runs in Johannesburg to help England win the series over South Africa. Meanwhile, in Australia, Kate Richardson-Walsh became England hockey's most capped female player with 356 appearances. Lexi Thompson won her seventh title in Thailand to overtake Stacey Lewis as the top-ranked American in the world. And don't forget, we've got action from the LPGA coming up. Speed skater Elise Christie won double gold in the final World Cup event in the Netherlands. 15-year-old Maddie Rowlands won Team GB's first ever gold medal on snow in the ski halfpipe at the Youth Olympics Winter Games. And Captain Sarah Hunter has led England on an unbeaten run so far in the Six Nations. You can vote now at skysports.com slash sportswomen and voting closes at midnight on Sunday, March the 6th.